Mike, obviously this baseball, we turned the page from yesterday, but if we can just reflect on last night's game for a moment, what kind of value can a game like that have in terms of being able to reference back to it, especially having it here early in the season? Yeah, all wins are important, clearly, in the big leagues. Um, but, you know, wins like yesterday, again, talk about identity a fair amount here and actually a lot here. And, um, you know, it's established the identity that we're, you know, we're always going to compete regardless and always feel like we're in a game regardless. And we've, um, we proved that to ourselves again last night, so I think that matters. And you know, that kind of that kind of win does have that residual value to um, continue to have a reference point for a club, for a club as the season goes. Obviously, a lot of big heroes, especially from the offensive side, and maybe on the, the pitching side. How important is it for De Los Santos, for example, to come out and put up a one, two, three after you guys score seven? And what can that do for his confidence? Well, that's a fantastic point, and it does a lot. You know, to be able to have De Lo come in and um, you know he goes through you know kind of the heart of the order there and gets. Uh, Quick one, two, three, shut down inning after we score seven, keeps the momentum on our side. It's um, it was good for last night and it's good for moving forward. And, and for Robert Suarez as well. I mean, he really came out and slammed the door. <laughs> you know, 99, 100 miles an hour. It just seemed like he had a different level of confidence and I'm going to get the job done in, in an important situation there last night as well. Yeah, no, he's done a nice job the entire year. And last night again, you know, the old um, now it's your president with authority deal and came in and was. Really assertive with a real plus heater that was exploding. Uh, you know, um, 99 hunters, you know, got a lot of velocity, but the life behind it was was really impressive. So um, he did a tremendous job. Joe Musgrove going. It seemed like in his last outing, the fastball really showed up for him and was a, a really important weapon. What would you see it up, Joe, and what do you expect to see today? Yeah, I think you nailed it. I think the fastball had the life to it, the finish to it. I thought the breaking ball was good. It was good early. He's able to establish all his pitches early. And when Joe Musgrove, especially with his knowledge and his, his um, comprehension of how to pitch and follow a game plan and then react to what he sees with his weapons, that's a that's a really good version of, of Joe, and it's a really good opportunity for us to um, get a lot of quality innings out of him. Kind of neat that he gets a chance to go back on the mound on the day celebrating his no-hitter, too. Yeah, how about that? I mean, that's really special. Um, you know, I appreciate the, you know, the 20th anniversary of Petco Park last night. That was a good memory for a ballpark and a memorable anniversary on a big day. And, you know, it's a nice, uh, first of all, throw no-hitter. I mean, it's a very small company there, you know, group there. So him to be able to come out three days, three years to the day, to the day is, is, uh, is pretty cool as well. Roster moves today. What can you share about the, the move to call Brett Sullivan? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we call Sully back. He's done a great job in AAA, had a great spring for us. Um, you know, it was a conversation into the end of the camp about, you know, him staying or, or not being on the club. It goes down and has, you know, two five-hit games um, in, in, in El Paso. You know, it's also it was more about or equally about, you know, Graham Pauly just going and playing, you know, going to get those consistent at-bats. You know, a lot of positives came out of Graham being with us. Um, you know, he proved to, not that he needed to. He, he earned his spot on the team to, to start the season. But, um, you know, just trying to figure out the balance of, of still developing here at the big leagues um, and then getting the opportunities relative to other guys performing as well and him just being able to go get those consistent bats, go play. He's done a lot of work to improve himself in all areas. But now it's time to, you know, he hasn't experienced AAA yet. So, um, you know, go down there, play, um, move around, get your bats, and be ready to come back and contribute. He did a great job when he was here and how he handled it, and now he's got that experience to grow from. Having a, a third catcher on the roster, how could that impact the way you can use, let's say, Luis Camposano on days where maybe he's not in the lineup to begin with? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we, we're going to look at a lot of different ways. The roster has changed a little bit. Um, you know, how we can use Sully and how, what that means to other players. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll continue to look at that, be mindful of it, and how we use it relative to the circumstances. One game like last night could be just that one game. Is there anything you guys can do to give yourself the best opportunity to kind of harness that and build off of that? Uh, you know, I think the by yes. I yep. mean, we can continue to build on it. Clearly, it's a, it's a game that, talking to Scan earlier about this question, it's a game that does have residual value. but. For me, at least, I think the big part of the game last night was more of a continued representation of how this group's going about the consistency of competition. So, you know, yeah, you're going to have the one-offs and you're going to get rewarded when you when you always are invested, regardless of circumstances, weather, travel, score, and you're always invested in the competition, what you're seeing, um, then you're going to get the best out of what you have individually and as a group relative to the entire season. And I think, um, you know, so we just continue to have that mindset, continue to do that. We'll, we'll get the best out of what we have, and that's all we can ask.